Nuclear fission. It's a nuclear reaction where the nucleus of an atom, typically heavy isotopes like uranium-235 or plutonium-239, split into smaller nuclei, releasing energy and neutrons. This process can lead to a self-sustaining chain reaction, a principle harnessed in nuclear power plants for electricity generation. Controlling the rate of fission reactions is crucial in maintaining a stable and controlled energy release. Fission also produces radioactive fission products, posing challenges in waste management. Understanding and managing nuclear fission are vital for both peaceful energy applications and military uses, highlighting its significance in nuclear physics and engineering. On the historic afternoon of December 2, 1942, the journey into the atomic age commenced at precisely 3.36 p.m. The setting, it was a converted squash court. With the abandoned stag field at the University of Chicago in Chicago, Illinois, this unconventional location became the crucible for a groundbreaking experiment led by renowned Italian physicist Enrico Fermi. Italian physicist Enrico Fermi, already renowned for his contributions to theoretical physics, led a team of brilliant scientists in a quest to unlock the secrets of nuclear fission. The experiment aimed to achieve the first controlled nuclear fission chain reaction, a milestone that required precise calibration of various factors. The team meticulously arranged layers of graphite and uranium meticulously controlling neutron moderation and absorption. The experiment unfolded in the presence of 49 scientists with Fermi at the helm. Notably, the sole female researcher in attendance was Leona Marshall, adding a distinctive touch to this momentous event. As the experiment unfolded, measuring instruments meticulously monitored neutron flux and reaction rates. The tension in the tent was palpable, reflecting the global significance of the endeavor. On that fateful day, Enrico Fermi and his team succeeded in initiating and sustaining the first controlled nuclear fission chain reaction. This achievement, backed by meticulous record-keeping and scientific rigor, represented a seismic shift in human understanding and capability. The core of the experiment was a device referred to as initially a pile, but later evolved into the term reactor. This reactor, constructed from graphite blocks, interspersed with small uranium disks, played a pivotal role in controlling the nuclear fission reaction. The meticulous monitoring of the reaction fell into the hands of scientists employing instruments whimsically named after characters from A.A. A. Milne's Winnie the Pooh. They called them Piglet, Tigger, and Pooh. The critical juncture arrived when scientist George Wheel courageously removed the cadmium plated control rod, ushering in the first controlled chain reaction. Within the reactor, Three sets of control rods played distinct roles. One, automatic and controllable from the balcony. Another, serving as a safety rod for emergencies. And the third, operated by wheel, actively maintaining control until the precise moment of withdrawal. The culmination of success sparked a unique celebration as a bottle of Chianti was uncorked, and the jubilant group poured the Italian wine into humble paper cups. In a gesture of camaraderie, the majority of participants signed the label of the wine bottle, inadvertently creating the only written documentation of those who played a part in this groundbreaking experiment. The success at Stagfield laid the groundwork for subsequent developments in nuclear science and technology. The Manhattan Project, a massive wartime effort to develop atomic weapons, drew heavily from the insights gained during this historic experiment. The technological advancements that followed would eventually lead to the creation of the atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, altering the course of World War II and humanity. A letter from Albert Einstein to President Franklin D. Roosevelt had earlier paved the way for the Manhattan Project, a government research initiative that birthed the first atomic bombs. 
This initiative also laid the foundation for the modern United States Department of Energy National Laboratory System. Reflecting the enduring impact of Fermi's contributions, the Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory stands as a testament to his legacy. Named in his honor, it commemorates his groundbreaking work in nuclear physics and the scientific triumph achieved at the nearby University of Chicago on that historic December day in 1942. These are interesting things with J.C.